Yeah, I think I'm back with the aluminum by accident. But I mean, they didn't cause a fire, so. So we're off to Jeju for about three days, uh, but we knew we were coming back to Seoul and we have big checked luggage with us and we didn't want to bring it onto the airline and back. Uh, so what we did was uh, we checked out early in the morning and then dropped off our luggage at our next Seoul hotel, which was in Hongdae. And I think most hotels are willing to hold your luggage for you as long as you, you know, ask them beforehand. And our hotel was willing to hold our luggage for four days before we checked in. So we dropped them off with them and then we headed towards the station to find the airport railroad line, which is this blue icon that you see up there. And basically the airport railroad line, also known as the all stop train, it takes you from certain stations like Seoul station or Hongdae station, which is where we were. Um, it goes all the way to Gimbo airport, which is the domestic airport uh, for us to fly to Jeju Island. Um, it also takes you all the way to Incheon if you need to use it to get to the international airport as well. Uh, but basically uh, we took uh, follow the signs all the way till we got on and then from here to Gimpo was about a 45 minute ride um, Just make sure you don't miss it because this train comes like once every hour um, So if time is critical, just make sure you know you check the timetables and For our flight to Jeju, we chose to ride with Jeju Air um, It's a pretty common uh, choice for a lot of people to go to Jeju. Um, we tried to book on like more local airlines uh, but sadly, like their websites just weren't working with us and our international credit cards. Uh, but Jeju Air worked perfectly, so we just went with them. And the total cost of our flight was about 129,000 Korean won, which is converted at the time to be about $100 USD. So that's not bad. It's just a one hour ride from Gimbo Airport to Jeju Island. Um, so it's pretty good overall. So once we arrived, we just follow signs for the domestic terminal, as you can see right here. Um, it's quite a long ways walk, but luckily there's like escalators and stuff. And then once you uh, get to around the first floor here, there's going to be signs for check-in on the second floor. So you just ride the escalators up until you hit the check-in area. And once you're at the check-in area, there's some important things to note. Um, when you go up to the counter for Jeju Air or whatever airline you're in, just make sure your name matches uh, the ticket as well as your passport because if your name is just off by like uh, you know maybe you have like a little surname or like your name is spelled di differently like they're not going to take you so just make sure that your name matches your passport and if it doesn't your the security is literally going to tell you to go back go to the desk agent and reprint your ticket and so after we got our ticket situation sorted out, uh, we basically met up with our friends and uh, they decided to go eat at a restaurant here. There's a lot of restaurants here at Gimpo Airport actually. There's some before uh, you go through security and then there's some like snack counters after you go after security. Uh, we weren't that hungry so we decided to just go for a light snack. You're now Sweet 40 potato. Right. You're 40% right. 40% right. Yes. 40% right. Yes, that's 40% right. That's 40 yes, it's a very long day. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Ooh, okay, 60% right. Honey glazed almond sweet potato cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. You are 80% right. Oh. Are you missing one word? Fried. Fried. Baked. Fried. Fried. Baked. Um, With nuts. I said almond. Oh. Almond covered. Okay. Honey glazed. Okay. Sweet potato. Okay. Cheese. Okay. Pretzel. Okay, you said, you said it. Okay. That's it. That's the full name. Well, you want? Want? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're going to have one now. <laughs> Hey, okay, look, if we don't like it, we'll give it to you. Alright, rating out of 10. Right now, first bite. Impressions. I taste the almond. Mm -hmm. I taste the honey. Uh huh. I wish it was cheesier. Okay. Mm. Like a 7 out of 10. That's pretty good. Alright. Hold the camera. 
우리 아시아나 은공 1시 20분 출발하는 8953형 개질 탑승길 탑승이 본 마감될 예정이오니 속히 14번 탑승으로 탑승해 주시기 바랍니다. 아시아나 은공 1시 20분 출발하는 8953형 Yeah? Right. Mm. I wish it was a little more crispy. It's like a little soggy. It's like a 6 out of 10. So upon arriving at Jeju Airport, uh, the first thing we want to do was head towards our right to find the rental car company counters. Uh, you'll see them because they have like big TV screens with like all the rental car company logos. And for us, we chose to go with Lotte Rent-A-Car. And there's a few reasons why I went with them. One, um, I read online that a lot of people use the service. Two, it was in English and allowed us to use uh, foreign credit cards in order to book uh, beforehand. And so that's what we did. And you just head up to the counter and you give them your uh, confirmation and they get asked for some ID. And then they give you a little paper slip that tells you to go to uh, departure gate five, which is where all the bus shuttles are to the rental companies. Um, and the rental car company is really close by. It's only like a 10 minute bus ride. Uh, but now you might be wondering like, oh, what do I need to drive in Jeju, right? Well, one, if you're a US citizen, you need, of course, already a valid driver's license. Two, you need to apply for an IDP, which you can get from your local AAA for about 30 bucks. Uh, it's usually really quick and you get a day of, and it's valid for one year in a lot of countries, and Korea is one of them. And after that, I would also suggest looking up some blogs. Um, I'll also link one in the description below of like driving tips. Um, it's pretty similar to the US. It's just a lot slower and there's a little more nuances, but overall, it's not that bad. So you head towards um, gate number five, which as you can see, everyone that is renting a car will go towards. And you kind of just follow the crowd. Um, you turn right and you'll basically follow it all the way down. It's a pretty long, decent stretch. Uh, pretty good if you know you just got off the airplane and you just need to stretch your legs a bit. Uh, but you head all the way down. Um, you'll see in a few moments that the uh, person in charge was kind of like rushing us because um, the Lotte rental car bus was about to leave um, and then we quickly got on the bus and about 10 to 15 minute ride um, if you have no place to store your luggage I just recommend just you know heading towards the back or wherever and just carrying it with you. Now upon arriving at Lotte rental car the first thing you'll want to do is find the counter that says foreigner check-in and then all you gotta do is hit the button and it'll print you a ticket and you go sit down and wait. And once your name is called, just make sure you have all your info with you, like the confirmation on your phone, your passport, your IDP. Uh, they'll also ask for the credit card that you use to book online and prepaid beforehand. Now, if for some reason uh, your credit card doesn't work on their website, you can also just come in and pay on site as well. Uh, my friend Megan did this and she was totally fine. But I wanna make note, make sure you pay with a travel card that has no foreign transaction fees because they make you pay in Korean won. And this is the total price of the car that we got for three days. And it's honestly pretty worth it, but all you gotta do is uh, come back with a full tank of gas and that's pretty much it. Um, 
And then make sure your credit card they're using to pay has uh, primary rental car insurance overseas. Uh, Cause if it does, then you can just decline their insurance and you know, save yourself like 50 bucks or something uh, because it's just extra money. And if your credit card's already covering you, then there's no need to buy theirs. And so once we filled out all the paperwork, uh, we just headed towards the spot where our cars were. Uh, we chose to sell a car called the new Kona. Um, it was kind of like the cheapest car we got, but honestly, it was pretty well worth it considering for all the features that, you know, we we're going to show you in later on in this vlog. And there's going to be a gentleman that comes and helps us around. All right. All right, see y'all at the Airbnb. Post the, post the thing. How do I get in? <laughs> oh. No insurance. No. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh no, no, Ani. Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh, it's okay. I'll put it in the back seat. Yeah. Okay. Check them. Check. Okay. Nervous just because this brake's really sensitive. And make sure you're in the speed limit. Turn right yeah. toward airport. Yeah, I gotta make Be sure because it's in kilometers, right? It's so over 50, yeah. right? So, it's but at, at least this GPS is advanced and it's pretty good. Um, it has yeah. English. Um, and honestly, the car's kind of nice for being like one of the cheapest budget options. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Yeah, uh, just hoping it doesn't break down in other reasons. <laughs> Don't jinx it, good enough. Yeah, nah, nah, we're good, we're good. Um, pretty, it seems similar to the US, like right side driving. Uh, it's just the signs are in like, you know, kilometers. Um, there's like certain like rules, but I think you can turn on right on red. Yeah, I think people are turning. Turn right. Be careful not to take the wrong road. Okay, and then this also has English, mm -hmm. like navigation. So that's pretty nice. Um, oh, this is pretty nice. It has the back camera too. Well, I can't really see it. It shows the back camera in the corner. Oh. Yeah. Okay. In 500 meters, be careful of traffic signals. Oh, there's the speed. Oh, it just popped 50 up. 50 kilometers per hour. In 700 meters, turn left. So, it's very downtown. They have a whole GPS system just for this island. You have to search, usually the old system, I don't think it's old, I think it's still in use, but like a lot. What I read is that a lot of cars, their GPS, they do phone numbers. So you type in a phone number and it'll be direct you to a place. And I heard that like, a lot like some of the older cars they don't have like english so you can't just type in english but it seems like this car you can just type in in english like what it says on the google maps yeah like even the name of the place and it shows yeah. up like you don't have to do the <laughs> we tried typing in the address and it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> we typed in the english name and i was like yep you're all good maybe i can like turn oh wait no it's it there's parking spaces oh what the okay oh. okay okay, okay. okay. So, Oh, that's nice. Okay. Wait, this okay, is really that's good. pretty nice. This is good. This is good. Turn this is right. something that I don't even Turn think right. like. Yeah, because you can't even do that on like our GPS. Yeah. A speed bump is a what is this? I don't know. <laughs> there's a car, but there's people walking. I think everyone just, you know, kind of goes. I think he's not yielding. They're not yielding. 
nun si Yodu. Squeeze in after this yellow. Okay, that, that's okay. weird. That's, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. That, that's very hard to discern. Yeah. Did we go here? No. I think it's that one. That what? Oh, it's just they blocked it. Oh, what the freak? Or it can go in here. Yeah. Oh, but is there a space? I don't know. Just we'll see. You have reached your destination. Because all these cars are not parked on yellow. But I think you're right, we could probably just park on the street. The only thing is I feel like it's gonna be hard, babe, because a lot of these people seem like they park really close to you. Oh, is that one? Where? Behind this black car? Bro. <laughs> I was gonna test my... You have backup cameras though, so that's good. I <laughs> always uh, sorry. I'm not used to walking. I don't know if it did. That's why I just walked it in here. Okay. Yeah. Remember where this is. Okay. Is it that? Is it? I think it looks like. Oh it. yeah, it's the corner. Yeah, that's oh a lot of people. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. <sighs> you wanna wait? Waiting? Okay. Uh, no, no Korean phone. No. Two people? Yep. Number one, two, two. Okay. Thank you. Go. Alright. Now we just wait. On the side, oh. the side wall. Yeah, we could just, <laughs> just sit here. Oh, 
like all that fun. Yeah, it's not like dry Oh, uh, First bite, the dog can see it as. Ready? That's really good. Third bite, the dog can see it. Delicious. Delicious. or something and some vegetables sure, it's some kind of fish paste for sure though Wrap it in some psalm. Oh, there's a pork belly in here. Whoa. 
I'll give it a 9.25. I think it's really good. You have to deal with like smaller portions, but it's because you're getting like really thick cuts of really good yeah. meat. So, How about you? That was really good. Highly recommend. And that's the meat. <laughs> Dang. 66,001. Basically, it's like 40 bucks. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's like 40, 45. Holy moly. You ready? Oh. 